Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and follow me on social media. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So first of all, shout out to Influencer who sent me the new Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength and Length System. In case you didn't know, Influencer is an app where you can be sent products to try and all you have to do in return is review on the app and on the various websites so check them out so with that being said i'm going to start off with the fortifying shampoo that came from this line and i must say like as i squeezed this from the bottle um and i rubbed it around in my hand it really was super creamy and kind of thick for a shampoo um i really enjoyed this because i feel like it coated my hair and my hair is super thick it needs to be coated well so i really enjoyed that and um it, it built up a nice lather on the first wash and so as i'm working this through my hair it it's not leaving my hair feeling dry at all so um i feel like it's a more of a moisturizing sort of shampoo this shampoo and also other products in this line claim to be for weak and breakage prone hair and as someone with color treated hair i love using products like these even if my hair is as healthy as it can be i like these products because they are very moisturizing this shampoo has no sulfates no parabens and no artificial colors and it has castor oil ginger and black cumin seed in it this shampoo along with the other products helps target weak strands restoring intense moisture and fortifying hair so each strand is stronger from root to tip with improved manageability, hair is easier to detangle, so there's less breakage and hair can keep its length. So here's my hair after rinsing everything off. You see the curls are popping. Um, my hair does not feel dry at all. It actually feels moisturized and it feels clean. My scalp and everything, so I'm pleased with the shampoo. Next, I'm moving on to the conditioner. And um, I squeezed this out as well in my hand. It was super thick. And that's how I like for my conditioners to be. As you can see, I squeezed a big glob in my hand. I try to make sure my hair is covered with plenty of product. I probably overused the product, but I think it's just really important like when you're conditioning your hair to make sure that um, the conditioner is thoroughly distributed. In case you didn't know, castor oil is very moisturizing for dry hair. I use it all the time on my own hair and I do see a difference when I don't use castor oil. So I was excited to see that castor oil is in these products and I actually can feel the difference between like this conditioner and another conditioner because of it. And so, yes, you can see me working it through. My hair seems to be, you know, really like soaking it in. In case you didn't know, I have um, high porosity hair. And so my hair seems to be loving this conditioner so far. So I'm going to let this sit in here for a good like four or five minutes. And then I'm going to rinse it out. I didn't get this part on camera, but... This um, conditioner also has a lot of slip in it. I used it to detangle my hair as well. And so um, I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that as well. So as you can see, I'm rinsing it out. And I feel like a lot of uh, the conditioner got soaked into my hair because it doesn't even seem like too much is even being rinsed out. It really just seems like my hair just completely soaked up this conditioner like a sponge and it just left my hair feeling so soft afterwards like my curls were just popping out as well and I forgot to mention earlier that these products smell like delicious they smell so good smells like 
a delicious honey treat. Okay, so this is me afterwards. And um, I let my hair dry off a little bit. It's still feeling very soft. It's still smelling very good. And so now I'm about to twist it. Now, usually I do a LOC method, but today I'm just going to be using an oil and the cream because that's all I have from the collection. And this is a seven blend oil for your hair and scalp. And it doesn't have any petroleum, mineral oil, or artificial colors. So I'm going to take some of this oil and I'm going to apply it to my hair. Um, I would say that it is a very lightweight oil. And next I'm going to use the Divine Strength Leave-In Cream. And it has no parabens, petroleum, mineral oil, or artificial colors. And um, I squeeze some of this cream into my hand and it's a, a nice thick cream but it's it's not really as thick as you know other creams i've used in the past it seems to have like um it's like a mixture of a cream and a leave-in to me and i think that's exactly what it's meant to be um my curls were popping and like soaking it all in honestly i was very skeptical about only using a cream because like i said i do the um LOC method so I use a leave-in and a cream usually so um, I was very interested to see how this would turn out so um, I basically was detangling at this point and yeah my hair seemed to be liking it so far so I decided to do a braid out and yeah I'm just basically braiding my hair and I'm going to be twisting the very ends and it seems to be very moisturizing by the time I get done. And so basically I'm just going to do this for my entire head. Now while I'm doing that, one of the major claims for this line of products is that it will make your hair 15 times stronger and 94% less breakage in one use. And I have to say that as I was using this and detangling, even in the shower, I did notice less breakage and like less shed hair. Now, I don't know about 94% less, but I did see uh, I did see less shed hair. So I will say that. Now, here is my hair once it's all said and done. My braids look super moisturized. And yes, I have high hopes at this point because um, my hair just feels so, you know, revitalized and fresh, you know, so fresh and so clean, clean. And so right before I put on my bonnet, I am going to take this oil and, you know, basically oil my scalp. And I must say this oil does have a decent smell. Usually I hate the smell of some oils, but this one has a nice little fragrance with it so here's my hair the next day after it's dry and i'm just going to take down my braids and as i'm taking them down you can see that definition you can see that my hair has a little bit of shine now i have to be honest my hair didn't feel as soft as it normally does when I do like the LOC method. So I probably would use a leave-in conditioner next time whenever I use these products. Um, also the oil I feel like might have been a little bit too light for my hair. I usually like a thicker oil. But you know what? Overall I feel like the products did achieve their goal of what they said they would do. I do feel like my hair was pretty strong. I did have less breakage. And especially in comparison to a non-conditioning shampoo, I feel like the products were um, excellent in that case. So if you're looking for some products that will strengthen your hair, I feel like these will do the trick. I would use the cream again. I definitely would use the cream. I would just use it with a conditioner. And also the shampoo and the conditioner especially working together, it does moisturize your hair very well. And I feel like it does strengthen your hair. So I would recommend those. The oil, if you like a thicker oil like myself, then that one is probably not for you. But if you have maybe a looser hair texture or thinner hair, maybe it does work for you. So 
you guys let me know what you think down below how do you think my hair looks have you ever used these products and if you haven't do you plan on trying them after this video let me know down below and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one peace